The, NFC, the NFL season is wrapping up this Sunday night with the Bills playing the Dolphins. Uh, Buffalo has a, like some weird scenario where they could be the two seed or be dropped out of the playoffs completely. Uh, so let me the, explain that scenario real quick. It's very right. simple. If the Jags beat the Titans and if Pittsburgh beats Baltimore, which sounds really hard, but then you realize Balt- Lamar's probably not playing. And right. Baltimore's resting people. So if the Jags win and the Steelers win, the Bills go into the final game of the year with two possible outcomes. The two seed or miss the playoffs. That's it. Which is just a perfect microcosm <laughs> for the Buffalo Bills. Either you're in great shape and a huge threat or you finish in 15th place in the NFL. Go ahead. All right, so the, the Dolphins are banged up and the Bills, as you just explained, are the Bills. Uh, which team do you think will have a better set of excuses when they get bounced out of the first round of the playoffs? Well, I don't think the Bills are making the playoffs. Okay. And the now some of that, again, I for that to be correct, the Jags and Steelers both have to win. If, the, if it doesn't go that way, then the Bills can make the playoffs with a loss. But right. I... I think that is going to happen, and I don't think the Bills are going to beat Miami. It as it, I sometimes I do wonder: Are people watching the games? Did, have, did be so last week we saw Josh Allen and the Bills play Easton Stick and Gift Smith and need a last second field goal to win. This <laughs> week we saw the Patriots self immolate in the first twenty minutes of this game. Four turnovers inside their own 30, including a pick six. And despite that, it's a six-point game the entire fourth quarter. The Bills almost lost to Bailey Zappi with with four turnovers. So the idea that the Bills, like, people are like, oh, the Bills are coming on strong. No, they're not. And here's the other thing. During this winning streak, it's four games, Demonze. How many passing touchdowns do you think Josh Allen has in these four in this four game winning streak? Give it a guess. Uh, call it six, seven, three. Th- How many Jesus, passing Josh. yards do you think he has in this four games? So obviously, three hundred a game three would touch? be twelve hundred. Uh, a, a two fifty a game would be a thousand. How many passing yards do you think he has in the four game winning streak? Uh, call it six, seven hundred, six, seven, 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 thirty-three, a hundred and eighty yards a game, three touchdowns, three picks, hundred and eighty yards a game, a seventy-five rating. The He's not exactly here. coming on strong. Uh, and Stefan Diggs has been MIA, and so listen, Miami, Jeez. their Super Bowl hopes took a kill shot this weekend against the Ravens because of the defensive injuries. Xavier and Howard and Bradley Chubb being carted off. That's just worst case scenario. But so, I apps I go ahead, Demonte. With everything you just said, Miami's still a three point home dog after they were destroyed by the Ravens. Yeah, Vegas you think listen, man. Vegas. Yeah, do you can't think it's more of the, the Bills, bills bias the or public is, okay. can't quit the Bills? All right. I mean, the Bills were thirteen point favorites over Easton Stick. They won on a last second field goal. They were 14 point favorites against Bailey Zappi. The Patriots had four turnovers instantly, and they won by six. <laughs> like the the fading the Bills has been good business so far this year. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to get more from the show, and make sure to click the bell to get notified every time new content drops. Check out full episodes of What's Right wherever you get your podcasts, or. Just click the link in the description below.